So you probably heard of light. I mean, you're staring at it right now. Light is composed of electromagnetic waves and those waves fall on a spectrum. You could look at this spectrum right here and see that what makes a spectrum a spectrum is the fact that there's a bunch of things stacked next to each other and they just kind of continuously go from one to the other. So it's a continuum, not discrete. For example, this is red, but this is also red. There's no one single red color, but rather all the different shades of red fall on a spectrum. And when you go from one shade to the other continuously, that's what makes the spectrum. My cat wants to play and I'm trying to shoot a video. So what makes red red is not the fact that there's only one red color, but rather it's the transition across the continuum. When you tell yourself something like, I suck at math, or I'm not good at sales, or I don't know, I don't know how to write, you're basically placing yourself in a discrete yes or no, one or zero state. You're saying, I either have this skill or I don't. But that's not really how you should look at it, because that skill in itself falls on a spectrum. And instead of saying, I suck at math, you can say, okay, I'm not very good at math, but I'm sure if I put in a little more time and effort into it, I can get better little by little. And then so I can cultivate that skill. Because whenever you're making I am statements and they're like discrete, you're actually feeding your mind false information. And you're basically saying, well, let's just give up, not do not even bother. Instead, you could view skills as a spectrum, just like light, it falls on a spectrum. And it's not that you have it or you don't have it, it's how good you are. And that is based on how much time and effort you place into trying to make that skill good. And this is really all about how you talk to yourself because what puts people down all the time is I am statements discrete coupled with some negative connotation as in I'm not good at this or I'm just not good at relationships or whatever it is. If you just change that view in your mind from discrete yet I have or I don't statements to just placing skills and traits on spectra where you can slowly get better when you put in more time and effort, you're gonna start feeling a lot better by yourself because then you'll actually be motivated to take action to get better rather than just saying, oh, I don't have it, why bother? Oh, by the way, I suck. And this is what drives me crazy when I hear people that say like, I suck at teaching. Well, how many hours have you put into teaching? And they would say something like, oh, I've never taught. And I'm like, well, why do you expect to be good at teaching? Instead of, I am not good at teaching, why not? I have not taught, so I could get better at teaching if I wanted to. And this is what people get wrong about like the learning curves. They say, yes, I mean, it's obvious that the more time you put into something, the better it is. But I actually think what precedes the learning curve is the belief. If your beliefs are like all messed up and you really think this is gonna be one big chore and it's gonna be really hard, you're gonna make the learning curve a lot steeper. But again, self-esteem is all about self-talk. And if you catch yourself saying a statement like, I am bad at this, or I suck at this, or I am this, like I am with a negative thing next to it, just stop and ask yourself, is this belief serving you? Is this type of self-talk serving you in any way? Is this productive in any way possible? Is this motivating you to get better at that thing? Should you think about that for a little bit. Now, speaking of beliefs, many people believe that you need to go to an Ivy League or a top school to get proper education. And I totally debunked that in this video. So let's go ahead and watch it. 